Good day everyone. My name is Jennifer Arcelia, Best Ed Mathematics A1 from Group 7. So my report is all about multiplying and dividing radicals. When it say multiplying, the product of radicals having the same index is to govern by the law of radicals, namely n square root of x and n square root of y is equal to n square root of x and y. And say dividing, the quotient of radicals having the same index is governed by the law of radicals, namely n square root of x over y is equal to n square root of x over square root of y. So, there is my example. How to multiply square root of 6 and square root of 4. So, this is equal to square root of 6 times 2. So, you can divide the two numbers. Okay? So, the result is 6 times 2. Since 4 is perfect square, and the perfect square of 4 is 2, that's why the final answer is 2 square root of 6. So, here's another example. Square root of 12 and square root of 3. So, it's the same way how to simplify the first problem. So, 12 and 3, you're going to... We can we can multiply. We can multiply these two numbers inside the radicand. Square root of 12 and square root of 3 is equal to square root of 12 times 3. The result of 12 times 3 is equals square root of 36. Since 36 is a perfect square and the perfect square of 36 is 6, so the final answer is square root of 6. Okay, let's proceed. The another example of multiplying and dividing radicals. So in this solution, this problem, the multiplication and division can be used. Okay, how? So square root of 36 over 3 and square root of 3 over 2 is equal to square root of 36 over 3 times square root of 3 over 2. The first step that can you do is times. Okay, so reduce the greatest common factor by 3. So equals square root of 36 over 2. So 36 divided by 2 is equal to square root of 18. So 18 can be simplified by 2 times or 9 times 2. So square root of 18 is equal to square root of 9 times 2. So the final answer is 3 square root of 2. So why 3 square root of 2? Okay, so 9 is perfect square. And the perfect square of 9 is 3. So the answer is 3 square root of 2. That's my report. It's all about multiplying and dividing radicals. And thank you for watching, guys. And I hope you get some tips or how to solve or simplify the multiplication, uh, multiplying and dividing radicals. And have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye.